Hello party people, it is Will Pemble here. I am going to work a little bit more today on the cart for our dragon cart roller coaster thing. Particularly, I want to get the, uh, I want to get the uh, respiratory system. This is our little solenoid. Uh, this is our little solenoid, right? This is our quick turn on, turn off valve. I want to get the solenoid thing mounted up here, right about here where the nose of the dragon is going to be. So I want to I want to put in the hardware and everything and get this thing mounted and that way we'll know where we have to put bits and pieces in order to move either either CO2 or even propane through this bad boy to uh, to get the effect that we're looking for. So I'm going to do a little bit and see how much progress I can make on that today. First thing I'm going to do is just chop up some steel and see if I can kind of finish out the nose of the cart. We just have that drop off, but we need to we need to put a nose on it before we have uh, before we can give it nostrils. rough but not terrible right not awful awful work you see the smoke coming out of the dragon okay now here's our here's kind of the front of the car that's just gonna fit right in there I'm gonna get a little clamp mash it into place there and then tack it That's how I think that's gonna look and work, and then we can then we can go about seeing where the once we have the nose. I'm calling this uh, I'm calling this the nose. Once we have the nose tacked on here, we can kind of figure out where our uh, where the nostrils will come out. <laughs> I'm totally making this up as I go along.
about that. about it like this. I started thinking that the solenoid would come across here, across kind of the, the, uh, the, I started thinking about it like this, that the, sol that the solenoid would be this way, and then something like that, the nostrils would come out something like that, right? And then, but then look what happens, look what happens over here. You end up using a lot of space inside the cart that could be used for feet or something else and you also expose all the hardware to feet and other things and so now that I now that I think about it like that I feel like that's not the right way to do it and so what I want what I what I got to thinking just as I was welding and putting this thing together is what if I take it and turn it around and put it this way I still get my nostrils coming out where I want them to come out, but I move all of this hardware. I could even maybe even turn the solenoid around sideways. Then all that hardware is right up against the front of the cart. It's far away from the passenger. I can even put a little wall here. That's a long way for the passenger to reach. And so I could, I could contain all of my hardware up here where it stays nice and safe. So that's kind of where I, that's kind of where I think we'll leave it for the day. Um, I started out with uh, I started out with a certain kind of an idea, and I ended up with a different one. But um, but that's that's kind of the way it goes when you when me. It's kind of the way it goes when I build kooky things that I've got in my mind. So I started out thinking of this, then I changed my mind to make it like this, then I changed my mind again to make it like this, and so there's a very flat profile right up at the front of the cart where the whole apparatus will connect. Next time we're going to work just on the respiration system, just on getting the dragon to breathe fire or just on getting the dragon's nostrils to breathe fire. And So we'll see about uh, hooking all of this up to the solenoid, clicking a button and seeing if we can get it to go. So that's the scoop for the day. As you know, if you've been watching, as you know it is Coaster Dad Makerspace season. We just put up a, an Indiegogo campaign for the Coaster Dad Makerspace, and we're going to be building the Coaster Dad Makerspace in Concord, California, and we're going to be doing it in just a couple of months. We got off to a fantastic start on our on our uh, Indiegogo campaign, but we still need your help. Every single little bit that you can contribute to making the Makerspace come true that would be fantastic. We're setting it up as a nonprofit. We want to help kids learn. We want to help schools teach kids. And we also want to give people access to the awesome, fun, exciting, cool tools that I get to play with all the time. Um, everybody should be as lucky as I am, and I'm doing everything I can to make that come true. So check out the Coaster Dad Makerspace campaign on Indiegogo, and if you can support us, that would be awesome. Um, I think $30, if you donate $30, you'll get a periodic table of roller coasters t-shirt which will be my gift to you for helping us, helping us with this incredible, cool, nonprofit work. That is all I have time for today. Many more things to tell you, but we're out of time for the day. So thank you very much for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. Thank you for your help with the Coaster Dad Makerspace. You guys rock steady. I could not be more grateful, and I will see you soon.